Hello everyone, this is Daniel here. Today we'll be uh, testing out Psychonauts 2. In uh, the comments down below, a couple of people asked me uh, why I haven't used IS Space, and I do actually use IS Space, so I wanted to show you guys that uh, IS Space is really nice for the fact that you can um, change a lot of the settings in app, and also when you are in game, you just press this KB button right here. And that should uh, bring up a little pop-up menu. Uh, a little, little other thing that you could do is when you press this button right here, that is what allows to uh, turn off the internal controls and allows you to plug in an external controller and use that as controller one without running into any issues. Also, you can uh, change your TDP right off the bat using this button right here. So uh, the custom resolution, you can set it up to well, you can set at whatever. Uh, actually, you can set it up to 25 watts. There's also balance, which is uh, I think 15 watts. Power saving goes down to 11 watts, and then there's something else that goes down all the way to five watts. But um, that's that. You could also. I'm just gonna use my controller here. I mean, again, I'm using an Xbox controller. Um, you could use it as a launcher for all of your games. It. Um, I finally got it to work with. Xbox games for uh, Game Pass. That is actually why uh, I started using it because before it wasn't working, but there's a new update that uh, lets it work. And um, another cool thing you could do is if you go into here, you could actually recalibrate your joysticks. So I don't know if you ever noticed, but if you do have the eye on you, uh, sometimes when you're moving the left joystick to the left, it goes fast like normal. And then when you try to move it to the right, it moves a lot slower. And I don't know if you've noticed that before, but sometimes it happens and it's really annoying uh, when that does happen. So they finally enabled you to uh, calibrate it right from this app. So you would press on that um, and then you press those two buttons for two seconds. Your, your device will vibrate twice. And then um, you just basically rotate both of your joysticks clockwise. Uh, I do it like two times fully, uh, try to do it sl slowly, but really accurately, you know, and uh, it seems to help a lot, actually. Um, also, you can press your right trigger and your left trigger. You press them in all the way, you hold it, and then you, sl you slowly let go. That also helps if, let's say, if you notice in like some racing games when you're trying to race and your uh, triggers are... It feels like you're, you know, you're pressing all the way down, but your car is not moving uh, or is moving really slowly. And you're wondering what the heck is going on. That's probably because of that. And you just need to recalibrate it, which, again, really easy fix. And uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm glad that they did implement this into the IS space. So if you uh, had any questions on how to do that, that is how you do that. And again, if you guys have any more questions of IS Space, feel free to um, write down the comments down below. I will be trying my best to let you know how things work. Anyways, uh, you could also change your vibration intensity here. And right here, if you press back, this is where you could set your uh, different TDP. So you see game is 20, balance is 15, power savings 11. And you can set your custom to from I guess as low as three up to 25 watts but yeah that's that now let's go down into oh you could also set up little shortcuts here to be honest i don't know what a lot i mean some of these are you know straightforward like this is your wi-fi bluetooth escape some of them are kind of confusing i don't know what they do yet i really hope they release a guide or if i find out what they do i will let you guys know here you could find all your usage status uh, your, if you don't have that overlay, which I already have the overlay so I can see right from there. Uh, but if you don't, this is, you know, really, uh, really nice. Let me fix that, some glare. Okay, so let's get into the game. Uh, we'll be playing Psychonauts 2, I already have it launched. Uh, let's just press the window key and go in here. And as you can tell, again, left corner is going to be the frames per second. And you can see the TDP up there as well. We'll go down into the settings. Display is set to borderless. Uh, V-Sync is off. 
max frame rate we allowed unlimited for the purpose of seeing how much we can how much frames we can get uh, personally if you're playing the game and if you're not doing you know a video or you're not you know trying to see how much frames you get I'll just set it to 60 and turn vsync on but since you know we are uh, doing a test here we will be leaving vsync off with max frame rate unlimited now we'll go down into the graphics we set it to medium so it automatically has a resolution scaling basically it scales it and then upscales it to your device resolution uh, it does make the game run smoother we have the quality settings set to medium and it to 70 that that's automatic so let's see you know if you're going down see that it automatically moves by itself uh, medium is pretty soft like a good spot and once stuff is going on it doesn't really dip below 60 and um, anyways let's get into gameplay we are going to be running at 20 watts uh, actually I've tested it out and on power saving like 11 watts I was able to play this game on low hitting 60 frames so if you do want to save power you definitely can do that and uh, if you, you know uh, you're playing at home and you don't mind less time of playing this game or if you have a charger nearby you could definitely crank up the graphics anyways let's get into it so as you can see it's about average 62 frames Stays above 60. Okay. I actually never played this game. I'm I'm doing a this because somebody asked me to play this game. I never played this one before. Seems like a pretty fun. Uh, has kind of like a old school vibe to it. If you ever played like Jack and Daxter, really has that vibe. So I guess we gotta beat up that little robot. Thanks fast. Okay, I guess we got something from that. You can see it, it runs really well. This game definitely, definitely playable. And I do like that uh, resolution scaling thing, which uh, allows you to, you know, hit better frames depending on uh, the water you want to be using. Yeah, I really don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do here. I guess that doesn't work. But I mean, then again, this is not a this is not a, a guide or a walkthrough because I'm confused myself. This is a more of a test, and as you can see, we are getting solid 60. Oh, just as I said that. <laughs> it lowered a little bit, but I mean, as you can see, we're, we're getting really good frames on medium settings. Let's 
So if you are trying to play this game, you definitely can. Also kind of reminds me of a little bit of a, like a, a little bit of like 3D Mario, like on the Nintendo 64. Kind of. But yeah, that's, um, that's that. Anyways, um, thank you again for watching the video. If you guys have any questions, uh, any concerns, or if you just want me to test out any other game, please uh, leave a comment down below. I try to uh, get to everybody's comment. And if I didn't get to it, I will try to do it next time. And uh, also, if you guys... Yeah, if you guys want to check out IS Space, I do recommend. It's a good product, especially since it's uh, gotten updated. Before I, I I used it, it was kind of funky. Um, it didn't really uh, work as well. But now since they added so many things, you can uh, you can definitely use it. It's usable. And also, let me show you guys the the keyboard thing that I was talking about. So when you click key keyboard. See, it pops up this quick tool, which you can control your volume, you control your brightness from here, you can control your TDP, which is nice, quick, and easy. You can control your fan speed, so if you want to, you know, to be quieter, you can. If you want it to go full blast, if you're running at high wattage, definitely you could do that as well. Uh, there are some other things, I guess this is the mute, this is maybe, you know, get rid of full screen. Uh, but yeah, you could do multiple things, set up shortcuts, you also see your, uh, I guess, how much percentage of your each cpu and gpu is being used but then again you know we have this overlay but if you don't have this overlay you have that it also shows your battery and the time i guess so you don't you can you're always going to be on time you know but yeah that's that's that so thanks again for watching uh please leave a like and um if you guys want to watch more videos and if you guys enjoy my content please uh subscribe it does help uh we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers so yeah, thanks again, guys. Have a good day.